40 seconds! Run to the back! Run to the back! Oh, shit! Oh. historic event. When a total of 14 states in the continental U.S. will be in the path of this astronomical event. It will last only a couple of minutes. <laughs> but the potential droves of people coming to see it this is insane. could eclipse all tourism records. Beautiful people, we are currently about to embark on our journey to Oregon Eclipse. I hope you guys are ready. <laughs> See you there. We climbed up this five-pitch climb. It's really rad up here. Climbing and photography have always gone hand in hand for me. To do photography well, you have to love it. Emma Pel Keiko. My name is Keiko Tamaki, born and raised in Honolulu, Hawaii. My personal mission in being at the solar eclipse is for my own self-healing. Catch us at the Wisdom Keepers camp. I don't know how this eclipse is going to affect life or finances or love or the earth, but you know, it's probably going to be crazy just in case we survive. I still came to work, you know, to get a couple extra dollars. So today has been deemed the Great American Eclipse Day. For the first time in nearly a century, the moon is going to block the sun's orbit, which means parts of the United States are going to be completely covered in darkness. It is going to be epic. Good day, bro. It's a really, 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 really big festival. The Global Eclipse Gathering is a harmonious collaboration of life and love and music. <laughs> For a brief moment in time, we're all going to be connected as just beings under the sun. I wanted to come to Oregon Eclipse this year because of a very recent heartbreak I suffered. I met a girl earlier this summer. Hey, Kayla, Kayla. Hi. I thought for sure this was the girl I was going to marry and spend the rest of my life with. It didn't work out and, you know, I was, I was devastated. So I thought I might come to this solar eclipse festival. I wanted to try and take my mind off of the heartbreak just for a little bit. We've been on the road for four or five months now, traveling all across North America. Well, living in a van has definitely brought us closer as a couple. <laughs> <laughs> I was working for Bloomberg, and Martina was working for Goldman Sachs. Leaving my corporate job was really scary. I really don't think I would have done it if it wasn't for Ted. The big dream is to find a way to make this lifestyle sustainable. And photography was a natural complement. As a photographer, I started to think about what I could do to take a unique shot. I researched and mostly just saw images of the eclipse. But I didn't see anything with the human element in it. And I naturally started to think about how do I get a person silhouetted by the eclipse. The reason why it's so important for me personally to cultivate my sense of spirituality is because I lost my mother three years ago and it was one of the biggest changes and losses and heartache of my life. I feel that she's always guiding me. I feel that she has guided me even to coming to the eclipse. What up, 
up, y'all? I'm out here at work, you know, it's the day of the eclipse. They say you ain't supposed to look at it because the sun will blind you. Like, I'm gonna wear these sunglasses, but they say the sunglasses don't work. Maybe two power work. It's about to be crazy. Werewolves and demons coming out of the earth and everything. I don't know where I can go to hide from the eclipse since it's gonna be everywhere. I'm gonna be ready. Y'all gonna be running out of gas on the side of the road, but not me. In a few short hours, a spectacular phenomenon will be visible across the U.S. from coast to coast as the moon completely blacks out the sun. Make sure you grab your protective glasses and get outside for this incredible event. I ended up running into the girl who may have broken my heart a little bit. Find a friend. <laughs> Find a friend, lose a friend. It's that easy. <laughs> Where'd you go? I was very nervous to see her again. To my shock, it turns out that other people were a little more interesting than I was. Things didn't work out as I thought they would have. But being around all of these beautiful people and all of this love, it truly helped mend a broken heart. This place is truly unlike any other. I decided to just get out there and meet as many cool people as I could. I was overtaken by the positivity and warmth of everybody around me. I'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Third time's the charm. Found a spot with the sun just behind Monkey Face. Being the ultimate location, because the sun is lower in the sky, so it would be possible to get the angle just right. The sun is cresting on it. So there was a fair amount of planning, a lot more than I've ever planned for a single shot in my life. I am absolutely ecstatic, excited. Being able to just be in the presence of these wise beings is so profound. It really brings everything that is happening within you to the forefront. When I'm in ceremony, I definitely feel my mother's presence. I got like two and a half hours before the eclipse come, and I probably got this dope cake. So I'm risking my corneas and my irises and the other parts of my eyes that I don't know to satisfy my taste buds. it all to get this damn cake and they ain't even have the flavor that I want. I'm moving too slow, damn it, let me. I don't get caught up in the eclipse. I'm 13 minutes away from a total solar eclipse. I'm with my friends. We're having a good day. It has begun. Getting ready to shoot the eclipse. You can see in the background, the sun's gonna crest. Woo! It's almost there. We all marched up to where the solar eclipse viewing place was. The elders from around the world speak about the coming together, about what's happening in the world. It was absolutely beautiful. I started seeing like some darkness coming uh, through the window. So I went into my closet, hiding out. I got my cake that I went and bought. If I'm going out, I'm going out easy. Cake. Can his head go further right? It's okay if his body twists more. Now we're just waiting until totality, the moon moves completely across the sun. Oh my God, this is so strange. Oh my fucking God, it's getting dark.
the sun was black, there were stars in the middle of the day and a sunset on the horizon, life is seeming to come to a halt. I love my friends, I love the sun, and I love the earth! In the end, the eclipse changed me. I came together and I connected with so many amazing people and I felt so much love in the air around me. It was incredible. I pushed past my own heartache. I know in my heart that I'll find love again because love is out there. It's in the air. So let life happen. I just felt a sense of profound connection. I felt my mother. Or I thought of all my friends, all my family, and I was crying tears of joy the entire time. Oh my goodness. This I did not expect. It's been crazy, the response to this photograph. I've never had a photograph go viral. I mean, my jaw just dropped. Woo! Oh my gosh! I've seen a lot of cool stuff in life, but this is the coolest by far! This is amazing! <laughs> incredible thing. Wow. Now we gonna get down. See if human, if human life still exists out here. Look like your car cranking up. Okay, the people outside. Okay, and a dog. It's all good. So I'm gonna go to the gym.